What is going on guys? My name is Bardinsky. Welcome to a new series on my channel, PEZ 2017 What If. This is where we take potential future transfers, insert them into the team and simulate a Master League season with them. Will they be a flop or will they hit the ground running? This series will hopefully give us an idea. In today's episode, we feature Arsenal. We have Alexander Lacazette, Thomas Lamar and Zid Kolasinyak. Kolasinyak. I can never... I what is that name? I'm butchering the name of a player who plays for my team. You can't even read! Oh, okay. Kalasinach. Okay, that's nothing like I, what I previously said. Uh, anyway, let's get back on with the video. So after creating our B-Tech Arsene Wenger... The ham roll fam! We started the Master League. We bought our transfers. We bought Lamar, Lacazette, Kalasinach, and we were ready to go. We know Lacazette can finish. He's got a great goal scoring record in France. Uh, will it actually transition well in the Premier League? There's Thomas Lamar, who's a future star, uh, play on either wings and attack midfield. So yeah, he's going to add some variety to the team. Lastly, we have Kolasinac, who uh, is a bit of a powerhouse, really. And he also played before uh, as a centre-back and defensive midfield. So if you ever have an injury, which is probably likely, uh, he could always settle there. So let's go on with it, guys. What will Arsenal do with these free transfers in their team? Let's fast forward and see what happens. Well, we're waiting. So did they make a difference? Let's find out. So we won the FA Cup. Uh, no surprises there. We got into the Europa League as well. So we must have uh, bummed out of the uh, Champions League. Uh, Sanchez and Nerz will seem to be doing bits. Let's take a more in-depth look and see if Lacazette, Kolasinac and Lamar made any difference whatsoever. So Manchester City ended up winning the Premier League uh, on 94 points. Very close there between uh, Man City and Chelsea. It seemed to be like a two-horse race. Arsenal, we came in third. It's not bad. Um, it's not the best. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't make too much of a difference. And Man United came in a fourth. Looking at the top goal scorers in the Premier League, though, Lacazette did make an impact. Uh, he did score 19 goals. Sanchez just behind him in 17 goals. And uh, Meza Ozil scoring 13. So Lacazette, he did well. He had a good season. Um, let's take a look at assists. Ozil bagged himself 12 assists. Got Shaka in there as well. No sign of Lamar, which is quite worrying. So team of the year, we really didn't do well. Petr Cech's our only player, and that is disappointing. We had a terrible Champions League campaign. Ended up third in the group on seven points. We're in the Europa League. Let's find out how we did in the Europa League. We got to the quarterfinals where we managed to squeeze past Chelsea 2-1 on Agra. A very, very tight uh, quarterfinal there. And in the semis, we end up getting absolutely demolished by Liverpool 5-0 on aggregate, which is a little bit embarrassing. And lastly, we finish on the FA Cup, which we won, uh, beating Manchester City 1-0 in extra time. Um, it was a good campaign, I feel, overall. Uh, finishing winning the FA Cup as well was good. Uh, at least it was something. And having two of your players being top goal scorers in Alexis Sanchez and Lacazette isn't that bad either. Let's take a look at the assists. Meza Ozil, of course, just assisting everyone. He gets free. Uh, so that is the FA Cup, guys. Uh, so overall, let's take a look at the players. Kolasinac, Lacazette, Lamar, how did they do? So, Lacazette, so for his first season, he had 52 appearances and 29 goals. Uh, really impressive, uh, and he did make a really big impact. To be third top goal scorer as well in the Premier League on your debut season is not bad. Uh, unlike Thomas Lamar, who had 49 appearances and only seven goals and one assist. Which, when you think about it, if he's actually going to go for 45 mil in real life, he's got to be, be doing better than that, with an average rating of 5.4 as well. And then we have Kalasinac, who had 44 appearances, no goals, no assists, and an average rating of 5.4. Uh, didn't really do much, but, you know, we, we conceded a lot of goals as well, to be fair, so maybe he isn't the answer. I don't know. So guys, that is the end of the debut episode of What If. Uh, something a bit different, uh, a bit short, a bit of a mini-series before obviously entering PES 2018. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what teams would you like to see next, guys? Uh, maybe it's Man United. Obviously, there's talks of Eva coming in. Obviously, they've got Lukaku. That might be interesting. Maybe Everton. Obviously, there's big changes there as well. Um, let me know, guys, in the comments down below. Uh, also, hit the like button if you enjoyed this new series. Subscribe if you're new. And, guys, I will see you later with another PEZ video. Cheers.